Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm gonna adjust the camera just a tad, sorry. Welcome to the outdoor keto kitchen. My name is Jay. Um, we are from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. So tonight we are doing breakfast for dinner. We're doing bacon, egg and cheese, chaffle sandwiches. So these are some of our favorite things. I'm gonna show you exactly what we do to make chaffles in just a second. I'm gonna get the bacon on. If you're coming in on live and you see the little live box up in the top corner, I'll drop a one for me. If you're coming in on replay and you do not see the live box, press two. Let us know where you're coming from. We are from Monk's Corner, like I said. Let us know if you're keto. Let us know if you're a Blackstoner. If you're a Blackstoner, drop down, I'm a BSer. If you're keto, let us know if you're strict, lazy, or dirty keto. I need to get my fingers working right on this thing tonight. So we can get this bacon going. I don't even know how much bacon I need. I'm just putting on a pack. We're going to go with it. Using the Blackstone Giant Press. Love these things. If you don't have one, you can get one at Walmart. I don't remember how much you paid, like 15 bucks or something maybe. So, again, if you're coming in live, how about drop a one? If you're coming in on replay, drop a two for us. Let us know where you're coming from. We are from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. And right now in South Carolina, we're looking at a, about 70 degrees, 75 degrees. It feels really good out here until you get above the stove or the griddle. So, chopples. Chaffles are an egg and cheese waffle. They are synonymous with keto. They're really low key, low carbs, and they're great to make sandwiches, buns, or buns and like hamburgers and stuff out of. So what we do is you mix egg and cheese. I'm gonna show you the consistency that we use. So you don't want to do a whole lot of. You want more cheese than egg, really. So this is kind of the consistency that you want to use. And all you do is you use your little chaffle maker or a little waffle iron, put a little bit of cheese, shredded cheese on the bottom, put a little bit of mixture on there, a little bit of shredded cheese on top, you close it up and you let it cook till you smell all that goodness. And what you end up with is this beautiful egg and cheese waffle. It's got a really nice crunch. It's hard and crisp. So we also add anything bagel seasoning in our chaffle mix just to kind of give it a nice little garlic taste and stuff hey chrissy how are you hey paul thanks for hopping on as always we appreciate it Check these, that. and we're just doing this is simple real quick real easy so it's monday night i've got well both of us got recovery meeting tonight so we try to do something real quick and easy on Monday and Wednesdays and stuff for our meeting night. And this is just a real quick, easy, delicious dinner. Breakfast for dinner is always good too. I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat a lot of breakfast items. So this is really good for that. So you guys like chaffles, how do you like them? You can do many, 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 many things with chaffles. So we were at a friend's house a couple weeks ago, and we actually made buffalo chicken chaffles. And basically it's the same recipe, the eggs and cheese, you just add a can of chicken breast, white meat, with some Frank's hot sauce and stuff in it. You dip it in some ranch, it's delicious. So they're really good, they're really, what's the word, uh, universal. You can use them in many different ways. So a couple of these, just JJ and I, we always put on the Dukes. Stacy doesn't like the Dukes. It might be a man thing. I don't know, but Dukes is the only real mayonnaise out there. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Drop down what kind of mayonnaise you like. If it's something other than Dukes, don't worry about dropping it down. I'm just kidding. So mayonnaise is definitely, Dukes mayonnaise is definitely a Southern thing. I heard it's reaching out across the country now, which is really good. <clears throat> Get those. So the bacon is looking really good. I'm gonna move it off the heat. And this should go really, really quick. 
The chaffles took about 10 minutes to make. They don't make, they don't take too long. So the, the whole key to the chaffles is learning how to use a chaffle maker. I don't, I still have yet to master it. So I always make a mess. Like I put too much mixture in there and I got cheese and egg and stuff running all out the side of it. So I have yet to master the amount of chaffle to put in the, in the chaffle makers. All right, so those are good. We're gonna do some eggs. Stacy likes hers hard. JJ and I like ours a little over easy. Get those going. So we've been doing keto for a little over a year now. I'm down a little over 90 pounds. Stacy's down a little over 50 pounds. That was our last weigh-in, probably close to a month ago. Uh, my daughter's down 25 or 30 pounds now. My son's down about 10 pounds. So all together, we're around 175. If you add my mom, my sister, and all those that's doing it, uh, and my family, we're, we're about 200 pounds down as a family. So we are part of a secret keto recipe group. And what we do with that group, I'm putting on pink Himalayan salt. If you're keto, pink Himalayan salt is definitely a must. It's got great electrolytes and stuff. We have substituted it. We took away table salt altogether, and all we use is pink Himalayan salt and stuff. So I'm just doing a little bit of salt and pepper. Turn that down just a tad. So our keto group's about 500,000 people, almost 500,000, 490,000 people. We uh, we share tips, tricks, recipes, do's, don'ts, what, what works for some people, what doesn't work for some people. And it's a really good network area. Um, we are also part of a huge keto country down here in Mulch Corner, believe it or not. We have like seven, seven or eight of us that are top keto country, top keto coaches in the whole in the whole entire country. Out of the top 25, seven or eight of them live here. So we have a really good network, a really good connection with all these people. And that's what keeps us going. Um, accountability, support, motivation. Like we have group chats and stuff that just keep us motivated, keep us going, keep us focused. So. Alright. Let's do this a couple of these. Look at this. If I was trying to do this in a frying pan, I'd fail miserably. And I might still fail some, but not near as bad as a frying pan. It would definitely take longer. Get those. The pop face is open because she likes hers hardcore. Alright, so I'm going to show you how this goes. We've got Duke's mayonnaise on this inside. We're just going to put that on there so it warms this up at the same time. I'm going to put a couple pieces of bacon on that bad boy. And I might. Woo, it's a little warm still. That. Let's do this. Because I'm a smart guy. So, and that ain't gonna work either. But this will work. You guys haven't seen these yet? Woohoo! Blackstone 7 inch chef's knife. These things are awesome. I picked this one up from Walmart for, I think, 15 bucks or something. Wasn't much at all. And guess what? That worked. So, we're gonna stack some bacon. Put a little egg on there. I'm gonna throw a slice of cheddar, mild cheddar cheese on top. JJ, you said you wanted two eggs on yours? JJ said he wants two eggs, so I'm gonna do two on his. We'll make this one his. I'm do two eggs on his. Just gonna put the cheese right over the top. Then I'm gonna use my little collapsible dome lid. Give this a little quick heat. Just to melt that cheese for you guys so you see it. I'm gonna turn these off. See those eggs are done. Keep that 
Uh. All right, if you want in on our secret keto recipe group, drop the word secret down below. Shoot me a friend's request. We'll get you added in there a little bit faster. Um, that is the best way to get into the secret keto recipe group. <coughs> you can find out how we lost 200 pounds as a family and how we keep losing, eating delicious food. This is what we eat on a daily basis. So I'm gonna put that on there. And then I got Dukes on the other side. That is the, before we make it a sandwich, we pop that on top, like so. Then if I make some room, I'm gonna use my chef's knife, cut it open for you guys. Move these off the burn. Look at that. If I was inside, this would be three pans and a total mess. So, if you guys can still see that or not, but I like mine a little runny on the inside. JJ as well. I don't know if y'all can hear that crunch, but you will in a second. JJ, I'm gonna try your sandwich. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's cut open. This is what it looked like. It's not as runny as I'd like, but that is what the inside looks like with the bacon, egg, cheese, chaffle. Hey, Jason, thank you. We'll get to you, I promise. And listen to the crunch. Mm. You're going to want to try these at home. So make sure you get a chaffle maker. If you don't have a little waffle maker, try that. Make sure you put the cheese first, then the egg mixture, then a little bit more cheese on top. Close the lid, let it cook. Peek in it <clears throat> after you start smelling the cheese. Peek in it and make sure it's got a nice golden brown crisp like that. Pull it off, they're ready to go. And I think that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching, we appreciate it. Please don't forget to share us out to your keto groups, your Blackstone groups, and let us know when you do share us out so we can show you some appreciation. And if you want in on a secret keto recipe group, shoot me the word secret in the comments and shoot me a friend's request and we'll get you added in. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good night.